everyone, Sharon here from Lilydale Library with the Summer School Holiday Activity ID. It's using salt dough. Today we're going to make some different things with salt dough. I've got a starfish that I've made here. Now the instructions and the template will be attached to this video. Let's begin. Okay, to start, what you will need to make the salt dough, you'll need some plain flour, some salt, water, obviously a bowl and a spoon, a measuring cup, a rolling pin and I've got a knife here as well. So we're going to start, we need two cups of plain flour, okay we need one cup of salt, to mix the dry ingredients in together and what we're going to do now is we're going to add some water so you need about a cup of water or enough to make it into a dough if you make it too wet you can always add a little bit more flour but we want it to form a ball Remember, just to add a small bit at a time. It's a good idea. First of all, I'm going to put a bit of some flour onto the because we don't want it to stick, so I'm just putting some flour onto the, the silicon sheets that I've got here. I'm going to put a bit of flour on my hands so it doesn't stick to my hands to get it out. Needed a bit. If it starts to stick to your sheets, just put a bit more flour down. You want to knead it a bit. What I'm going to do now is just put a bit more flour down. Again, I don't want it to stick. Just remove the water because we don't need that now. I've got a rolling pin here. Now, again, it's a good idea to flour your rolling pin so it doesn't stick, and you can start rolling it out to whatever thickness you'd like. And if it sticks a bit, you can just put a bit more flour on your Rolling pin, off you go again. Right, so I've rolled it out, now we're going to have a bit of a play and see what we can make. Right, now we're going to begin making some creations with our salt dough. So I've got some plastic animals that I've found at around the place. I've got some cutters, so some cutters, which I'm going to use to make some circles. And I've got some templates as well that I might cut out some different things with. So I'm going to begin with the circle and I'm going to cut some circles out. Just cut three. And I've got a template here of a starfish that I'm going to use. Cut around this one, I'm going to have to cut around with because it's paper. Now, the templates and the instructions on how to make the salt dye will be attached to this video. I'm just cutting a starfish here. 
Pass it if it's a bit rough. Okay, starfish. And I'm going to cut a very big circle. And another little circle here. What I'm going to do, I'll have another circle there. I've got enough red, so I might as well cut another circle out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to peel off the excess dough. This is sticking a little bit, so it probably means I should have put a bit more flour there. Not to worry, because we don't really need the excess dough. And you can roll, just roll that up and re um, roll it out, or you could just use it to do some modelling yourself. Starfish on. Oh, yep. It's a little bit thin. Probably should have made him a little bit fatter. Not to worry. Roll that dough out of the way. Where's the tricky bit? <laughs> so grab my knife. Or my starfish. Almost perfect circles. Lose a bit, Let's push them back in. Now, what can we do with them? Let's see. I thought you might do a dinosaur print. So I've got a stegosaurus here. I'm going to press him in. Let's see how he goes if he presses in nicely. He has. It looks a bit like a dinosaur. Fossil. <laughs> I've done a dinosaur. What else could we do? Maybe a or oh, a spider. That would look pretty cool, wouldn't it? Let's try a spider. Pushing him in face down. <laughs> oh yeah, spider's pretty cool. The other thing you could do is you could do hand print, or you could do some fingers. So I'm going to do. Some, I'm going to do. Fingers and see how they come out. What, there's some fingers? <laughs> Probably better if you do a bigger one, you do a whole hand. And we've got puffer fish here. Let's try a puffer fish. Oh, he left a nice imprint. You might have to squish them around a little bit. So I've got a puffer fish. Might do another dinosaur. And I've got this dinosaur here. We're going to do him. Squish him and get his tail. Well, not quite as much, but it looks a bit like a fossil. The other thing you could do is you could use the dinosaur feet and have feet going across. And also have a bit of a fossil as well. It looks like there's a piece of dinosaur there, like when they find them in the ground. Now, what I'm going to do with the starfish is some of this excess. So I've got here, I'm going to put into little balls. The starfish have little balls, don't they? Really, really tiny ones. The other thing I'm going to use with this is I've got a pencil. I'm going to put a hole in little holes in it. Starfish have little holes. But this is just to give you some ideas of what you can make, but you can do anything at home. Now what you have to do with the salt dough when you've finished is you need to either leave it outside for about 24 to 48 hours to dry if it's a hot day, if it's a really hot day, or you can cook it in an oven for about two hours on a very low temperature. And then after that, you can paint them. And when you finish painting them and leaving them to dry, you will need to seal them with a water-based sealer so that they will keep so that they'll keep for a while. Okay, that's it, the end. Okay, everyone, I hope you had fun learning about how to make salt dough. Now you'll be able to make your own creations. Have fun. See you later. Bye.